Black walnuts are recognized as one of the most healthy of the tree nuts. It is low in saturated fats, high in unsaturated fats, and it's a great source of protein, vitamin A, and minerals. So I've had this tree growing in the yard for quite some time. I don't know how old this tree is, and it's always dropping nuts in the fall in October. So I thought I would go ahead and try to harvest and crack these black walnuts. It's something that I'd never done before. So last October, when the nuts started to fall, I went ahead and started gathering them up. A lot of times I notice the squirrels will get them before I can. So every day I just collected a little bit until I had a nice bucket full. This bucket was probably collected over about a one to two week time period. So the first thing that I did was take off the outer husk and this is a very messy and very hard job. Now I'm just cutting this kind of into my hand just to kind of loosen up that outer husk. Um, you might want to use a cutting board and just cut down on it instead of into your hand. I tend to do this more than I probably should but anyway I just cut it all the way around kind of like you would an avocado and then I twisted it and it would usually pop right off and if it didn't I went ahead and went cross crosswise on it as well. And you also have got to wear gloves when you do this. This little pair of disposable gloves didn't last uh, probably five or six nuts before I had to go inside and get some rubber gloves because it, the stain that comes out of these little husk will actually stain your gloves and for instance the gloves that I was wearing it was going through my gloves so um, it can also irritate your skin so you definitely need to wear gloves after you get the husk off you just pour them into a bucket or somewhere probably not around vegetation that you like because there's a substance in here that can harm plants so with a very powerful stream from your hose just spray them real good and it will help remove the substances on the outside of that nut. Once you have a good bit of water in your bucket, go ahead and fill for floaters. If there are any of the nuts that are floating, they are not going to be good nuts. So discard those if you have some that are floating. And then you'll want to go ahead and give them another good rinse. I found that this little crate worked out perfect for rinsing off the nuts. And I just continued to do this with the rest of the nuts in a small batch. You could do it in a larger batch, but I felt like I could get them cleaner if I just did a little bit by little bit. So once they're all rinsed, they'll probably look something like this. And then I had a little wire shelf. And so on a paper towel, I just went ahead and put those on there. And I actually put these in my garage uh, to let them dry out. There's probably other ways that you could let them dry. But this is a very important step um, in order to crack these open. I tried to crack mine open after about two weeks of leaving them on the shelf in my garage, which gets about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it was impossible. I mean, I... I was I did manage to get some meat out but it took forever so I just left them in there and then about six months later they were a lot easier to crack open so I set up a little station and I just got some old towels and I situated each nut so that the pointed side was up and the uh, rounded side was down and you'll notice that when you look at your nut and it was kind of separating a little bit so I just um, took my little hammer and went straight down on the nuts to open them up and because they were nice and dry a lot of times they would shatter and or just break right open at this point I'm just cracking them open so they're in nice large manageable pieces so that I can go in there and pick the nut meat out I'll change out my towel so it's nice and clean and then I can just pick the nut meat out and then we can just give it a little tap right there on the end if it's like a half piece just to kind of expose that nut meat.
Okay, so now it's time to pick the nut meat. So I got me a little pick at the grocery store and just got in there and kind of loosened up the little meats there. And I always liked it when a big piece would fall out. I guess you would call that a satisfying moment because <laughs> this was a lot of work. And I um, will not do this again, but like I said, I thought it would be fun to give it a try. And I do have to say that this nut meat was so much better than what I bought at the grocery store. It had so much more flavor. So sometimes if the black walnut was a large half, I just turned it over and gave it a tap that way. Just with a gentle tap, that's all you need to do at this point. Because it's nice if you don't break the nut meat and you just break the shell. So just be careful when you're doing it that way. So I've used these in a various different type of recipes. I've used them in pesto and I use it in a carrot raisin salad. Those are on my channel but um, typically I love these in a brownie. A black walnut brownie is like the best thing ever. So this can be quite a tedious little project here and like I said I probably will not be doing this again but I thought it would be fun to show you how to harvest your black walnuts, how to clean them, and how to get that nut meat out. So feel free to head on over to my channel where I have a playlist and over there I have a recipe section for black walnuts and the different ways that I've used them and I'm always adding to my playlist. So thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.